someone emailed in, they wanted this to be an election year issue, and it's about people not being able to go to, go to the concerts they want to go to. Of course, some people devastated that Katy Perry tickets were out of the range of people. Say it's not so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you try and get some tickets to Katy Perry? Not Simon? really my style. No. Not really my what, style. What is your style? What, what person, what, what artist would you love to see if you had the chance? God. Look, I have to say, I'm more in the classical music and stuff, and they're all dead. Okay. Makes yeah. a really cheap ticket. Okay. What, what, cla what classical concert would you love to see? We've just been to La Traviata of a New Zealand opera. Fantastic show. Go and see it if you get And what the should you pay for that? I paid about 120 bucks. All right, okay. Um, Richard Prosser, have you tried, I mean, this is, we're talking about scalping, and actually, um, that's, the, that's the issue here. Um, have you tried to get some, you know, Jethro Tull tickets and not being able to get them or something? Look, I've, I've, I've got a two-year-old and a four-year-old, and it's been so long since I went to anything, I can't remember what I like anymore. What was the last gig you went to? I can't remember. Long time ago. All Long right. time ago. Back in a, in, a, in a previous life. Okay, what about you? For What do you think about this uh, scalping thing? Do you think it should be... Some laws should be put in place so people can't on sell their tickets. Uh, the Rugby World Cup is a uh, an event of national significance, so you can't do it with the uh, uh, rugby. But what about things like Katy Perry or the Rolling Stones or or people that uh, gigs that exclude the poor? What do you reckon, Phil? Why so think? I think um, this problem would be solved, and the trade me guy will probably love this idea. If concert promoters sold tickets in the same way that airlines sell seats on their planes or hotels sell hotel rooms basically so they boost or discount the tickets according to demand and that way uh, you know it could actually open up lots so of opportunities. A, well, so why don't, they, why don't they do that? That's quite a good idea. I don't know why they don't but you know trade me could put in a bid and sell all the well, concert we'll, tickets we'll, we'll, we'll instead of just the scalping Yeah, we'll go to, What do you think of this Kevin? Does it exclude some sectors of society who want to see their favourite sort of artists like Katy Perry. I mean, I don't know. What do you What do you think? Yeah, I think that it does. I think it's got a bit out of hand. And so now we've got a situation where people are really excited. Someone's coming to Aotearoa. They're going to grab their tickets, and then they found some scalpers bought, you know, fifty or a hundred, and they can't get in, and then unless they pay an excess price. I don't. I don't think that's a good system. We need what, to look at that. Who would you like to see if they came here? Who's your dream artist? Oh, my dream artist, I, I like all the New Zealanders, so, you know, I'd like to see Anika Moore and Don McGlashan. Dave Dobbin. Uh, no, Don McGlashan's oh. my favourite. The, the ones that did um, songs from, from the inside, those amazing New Zealand artists. But okay. I went to Leonard Cohen, that was a cool concert. Really? Yeah, that was okay. fabulous. All right, all right, Damien. All right, I'm with uh, John Duffy. He is the Head of Trust and Safety at Trade Me, is that right? That's right, yeah. It's a cool sort of job title on your business card. Um, what's Trade Me's position on scalpers? Well, uh, selling tickets above their face value is perfectly legal, so we're a free market and we allow it. It's kind of scummy though, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we're not particularly big fans of scalpers, but we're also fans of allowing people to sell things that are completely legal. Except you've got things on, you ban things like, say, you know, it's completely legal to sell a Nazi dagger, but you don't let people do that. Yeah, we've made a moral stance, a moral call on that. So where's the moral line between ticket scalpers and Nazi daggers? It's a good question. It's an interesting comparison. I guess um, Godwin's law says that any argument about uh, <laughs> anything online eventually ends up comparing someone to Nazis. Something to Nazis. Okay, yeah, I walked right into that one. Fair enough. Um, do you, I've heard that in the past the Trade Me people say that the people on Trade Me actually want this. That's great. We've polled our, um, our members on a couple of occasions, and the last time we did it, 81% of people were in favour of us allowing this. So we listened to our membership base. Do you think, is there a part of you that thinks, um, you know, we were talking about this before, that uh, with the panel, you know, that if tickets, if someone really wants to go to Katy Perry, they'll, they'll spend $1,000 and that's fair? Yeah, that's right. I mean, people often criticise us and say genuine fans can't get a hold of the tickets, but you'd have to be a pretty genuine fan if you pay, you know, $500, $1,000 for a Katy Perry ticket. Or just a property investor or developer or something like that? Or someone whose 11-year-old has really got to them too much. People pay lots of money for lots of things. Um, do you think, so you, you would require a law change before you do anything? You wouldn't, uh, if, if public opinion started, you know? Hey, we listen to our members. We're not getting significant, um, we're not getting significant feedback from our members that they want to change. In fact, how, the opposite. How big, how big a problem is it at the moment? Well, problem. How, big, how many people sell tickets for above tic uh, face value on Trade Me? It's pretty hard for us to know because, I mean, what's face value? There's tickets range in price. We sell about 2,000 tickets a month to events on the site. Um, for example, for a big gig that sold out, uh, Metallica came here a wee while ago, there were 25,000 tickets available, 17 sold on Trade Me. So that kind of gives you an idea of the, the actual magnitude of the problem, it's not such a big thing.